everyone, my name is Dan Gates. I'm the president and CEO at the Aid Support Group of Cape Cod. I am here with Bridget Volk. Hi everyone, my name is Bridget Volk. I'm the program manager for the Falmouth site of the Aid Support Group of Cape Cod, including the mobile outreach vehicle, which we are on today. And we have offices throughout the Cape from Provincetown to Falmouth and Martha's Vineyard. But what we're on today is our mobile outreach van, which we're really excited about. We started providing harm reduction services and sexual health services with sites in Falmouth again in 2020, so during COVID. And what we were able to do is get this mobile outreach van on the road, which serves the whole community. We are in one of two offices that are on this van. And in these offices, we do all of our sexual health screenings, but we also do our syringe services, our Narcan distribution and trainings, and we also do screenings for things like testing fentanyl and other services related to that. So if it makes sense for everyone, why don't we have a little bit about our harm reduction services and talk about that? Sure. Um, so we provide overdose education um, and Narcan training. We will do that on the van on spot. We also go to different places in the community and provide that training. So what that does is it educates people about what an opioid overdose looks like. Um, how to respond to it using nasal naloxone, which is brand name Narcan. And we also provide fentanyl test strips, um, which have become increasingly popular. We found that there's a lot of fentanyl in the drug supply and things other than what is presumed to be heroin. Um, most of that, in fact, it has been fentanyl for many years now. So we're getting reports of fentanyl found in cocaine, um, methamphetamine, press pills and things like that. And we don't provide the information to scare anyone. We just want people to be educated. And we want drug users or, or regular people to make informed decisions um, and to be safe with whatever they do choose to do. So the fentanyl test strips will screen for fentanyl and any sort of substance. We have kits that we hand out that have this, the test strip. It has a little printout of instructions. It has different supplies, water to be able to test your supplies. Um, and we have people who ask for them frequently, people, and I find whenever we talk about them with people, um, they become interested and want to know more about them. And then the uh, part of the reason we're so uh, focused on our harm reduction work in addition to our sexual health work is a lot of people don't realize that last year uh, the country set a bad record, which was the highest number of overdose deaths in the country at over 108,000 people last year. So a lot of the reason that overdose um, um, deaths have increased over the years is as the opioid epidemic um, increased, as Bridget just mentioned, fentanyl entered the uh, drug stream. And fentanyl has a very different overdose impact than traditional opioid um, overdoses would. And the, the short version of it is that with fentanyl, um, the overdose hits very suddenly. So what's very important is to make sure that anyone who's using drugs has access to Narcan. So all of our Narcan services are free. When people come in, they get uh, Narcan for free, they get a training on how to use it, and they get doses. And you can also give it to people who are with people who use drugs, or even business owners in town who just want to make sure they're prepared. Because you want to make sure your whole circle has Narcan. Uh, it's a really big part of our service. I think we did about 6,000 doses last year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah about 6,000 doses. So it's really a significant thing. And what's wonderful is um, what Bridget and the team have come up with is we have such a mobile program that if someone needs services but transportation is a barrier, we can find areas to meet with them and bring services to different parts of the community where people are asking for it, which has been really impactful.